and welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Horizons. So last time we officially uh, opened up the uh, Able Sisters store and got a little tour of it. And this time I am going to check my Nook Miles because I forgot last time. Um, fruit Roots, uh, I got... I visited another town and ended up getting cherries, so all I'm missing is peaches. Um, you can have a wonderful yard in no time by building a fence and surrounding your home or garden. Yes, yes, Nook Inc. will award Nook Miles to skilled fence installers. So, uh, yeah, I put up fences, so more Nook Miles. Um, I still need to change the, the town tune. Uh, so first of all, let's see how we build an incline. From what I understand, these are cheaper than bridges, so that's gonna be nice. Um... Let's talk infrastructure. Uh, about bridges and inclines. Uh, let's uh, make an incline. Oh, curious about setting up an incline? Ramps and stairs make it easier to ascend our cliffs. Yes, yes. Go ahead and pick one out. Uh, pick one out of our catalog, please. Natural blue plank, white plank. Mm, we're gonna keep things consistent and go with a brick staircase. A uh, brick staircase, and you want to proceed with the construction of this incline? Excellent. In that case, let's settle on the location next. Use the incline marker kit I've placed within your pockets to set aside some land for an incline project. You'll want a decent amount of space to use it, and make sure you're standing near the base of a cliff. When you're ready, you'll be able to imagine what your new incline will look like. So much for being cheaper, but I did pick a more expensive one in all fairness, um, to Nook. But yeah, I read something about, oh yeah, inclines are easier to pay off, but like, not if you pick the, the fancy brick one. But like, it matches the town hall, so I think it's worth it. I say town hall when I mean uh, rest and services. Again, old habit. Um, I'm being, I'm gonna go into full stubborn mode with this. Um, that's Rosie's amiibo. <laughs> Let's invite her again and see if we can talk her into it again. Hello, this is Rosie. Thanks for the call. What, what can I do for you? Come chill at the campsite for realsies? I've already ended this call and I'm on, and I'm on my way. I like how the background in that scene has, like, the pattern uh, of the actual amiibo cards. Like, the little symbols, like the seashells and bug symbols and tool symbols. So it's like, it's a nice little detail having the little, you know, background art still represented by scanning in an amiibo. Um, where the heck does Darwin live? Darwin lives right in front of us. I like how his house is the same colors as he is, so, so it's really easy to tell whose house this is. Darwin was in my GameCube town, I'm pretty sure. Hey, Jonathan! I'm all done moving, you were right, this island is neat. I'm real excited to live on Cobalt. I want to play with everybody, but first, Dur, I gotta get unpacked. Um, again, not a super big favorite, but like, that'd be a fun video to do. Like, um, maybe for a stream, when I get back to streaming. Uh, which I should mention, the reason I, ha I haven't been streaming lately is literally because I've been spending so much time on this playthrough. <laughs> um, let's test this out. I don't know how this is going to look. I don't even see an even stretch of cliffs where here where an incline could go. So it has to be an even stretch, it looks like. Nope. Um, I kind of want a horizontal, so like, about like this. That's not even enough? Okay. Okay, game. I see how it is. Uh, yeah, I feel like placing things is way pickier than it needs to be. Um, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, this is even, right? Well, it let me build it here? Or unless it has to go, like, inside. Like, it has to, like, shut out, it looks like. That's not as good as I was hoping, if I'm being honest. Uh... Yeah, that's a little... that's a little disappointing from what I was hoping. I, I wish I could build one, like, sideways. Out. 
Uh, but actually, before I, uh, you know, talk about it like that, maybe I should actually view it. Uh, do not hit this as the spot. I want to preview it. Okay, that's not too bad. Um... Yeah, that's not bad at all. So, um, it's so close to these houses though. <laughs> Maybe I'll build it on another side and then build a second... Um, can I do that? Is there enough real estate to build a second bridge here? Um, let's see, this looks like five spaces. Yeah, that's five spaces, so I could put a four space, or like a two space bridge here. Um, easily. Alright, so in that case, if the bridge is like that, um... Okay, now I want to test something else. Okay, yeah, it has to be like... It looks like it has to be vertically aligned. Um... Which is a little bit of a shame, not too terrible, but again, a little bit different than what I was expecting. I assume if you built out a part of a cliff, you could build it sideways. Um, I just don't have the tools to do that, and don't have any ETA on when I'm gonna have that. Um, because, again, I need to actually get the development permit for that. Um... I am very conflicted on this. Again, I've made quite a few spur-of-the-moment decisions that l immediately after I was like, you know what, I don't like this house here. <laughs> or like, I don't like that thing located there. So, um... I'm actually kind of wanting to put a lot of thought into this so I don't make another decision that I'll have to undo later on and fix. Uh, at the cost of many hundreds of thousands of bells. Um, I could always move those two houses later. That's always an option. But yeah, just having the bridge located centrally here would make sense. Um, can I place the bridge from up here? Yeah, so it looks like, yeah, it has to connect, like, to somewhere like here. Um, I miss the old days of having, like, ramps, but I guess you could make a ramp, uh, in theory. Um, like, if you carve out enough space and then build a staircase, um, then that would work. But yeah, my main concern with putting it right here is... Um, it's really close to these houses. Uh, again, it's not the end of the world, it, it being this close to houses, but like... I'm not sure if that would be the best spot for it. It's also a skinnier uh, staircase than I thought it would be. So yeah, having it like horizontally aligned... ...would look better, I think. Also, is it even gonna let me build it here now? Because I tried earlier and it worked, but um... Okay, now it's just being really finicky for some reason. Like here, I think is where it let me... Previously, um, yeah, if I move the house, it wouldn't be bad, but yeah, it's just a lot skinnier than I anticipated it being. So, yeah, putting it like here, like in the side of a cliff, would be nice. But again, aligning this is really not the easiest thing in the world to do. So, like here, what happens if I do this? I don't see an even stretch of cliffs where an incline could go. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's like oddly finicky. <laughs> um, and that's kind of a general problem I'm having with the landscape construction in this game is a lot of things just are kind of finicky. Um, I think I already paid the bells for it too, so I'm kind of stuck with this now. I could always build this out to like a flat piece of land. But yeah, these are two apart. The bridge is only one space wide, which is kind of awkward. Um, so it kind of raises the question of how do you set up certain ramps. I wish it was two spaces, then it would look a little bit more even. 
<laughs> I also fully admit I'm probably putting way more thought into this than I need to. Um, but yeah, I'd like to have two ramps, one relatively on each side of the island. Uh, but I'm actually not sure how easy that would be to pull off on this section, so probably middle would be best. Again, if I could place it, like, in this little middle section, that'd be nice, then it would lead up straight to the museum, but I don't have enough uh, real estate uh, to do that. It's also like a three tile, I think, which is actually the problem. Yeah, that's like a three tile. Um, but for some reason now it's not letting me... Maybe it is... it actually is two spaces. Um... Yeah, it actually is, when you look at it like that. Um... Let's just go with here for now. Um, as close as we can get to what I was thinking about. I picked a spot for an incline. That's a step up for this island. Oh, I see what they did there. Um, but again, another idea would be as a result to move this house a little bit farther over. So I actually might do that now or soon. Um, but first, we should go say hi to Rosie. Um, as we make our way over to Rosie, one thing that's really fascinating about the series from like a production standpoint is how long each session has been taking. Um, quite frankly, more than I would have thought. Um, in hindsight, I do uh, wish I had gone for more like a, oh, just one day per video, but then certain videos would be like two hours. Uh, so yeah, that's why I decided to split it up, but now I'm re heavily backlogged. Um, again, I'm going into April. Uh, we, we're still on day three. Hey, thanks for inviting me. I was so excited, I, had, I just had to zip right over, silly. When it comes to being outdoors, I usually go glamping because red camping isn't glam enough. My camping it, camp isn't glamp, then I usually ramp my own plamp. Sorry, I lost my, the, the rhyme there, silly. I know that we had that yesterday, but um, some small cardboard boxes made on this island. What do you think that would look like? Oh, make one for me. Oh my gosh, wow, and boom. Uh, here you go, then, the recipe for some small car cardboard boxes. Sorry to rush you, but can you bring it today? I'm going home by... I'm going home tomorrow. I mean, don't I have a cardboard box? Literally in my inventory? No, it's just a regular cardboard box, not a small cardboard box. Oh, we need two cardboard boxes, shoot. Um, well that's unfortunate. Uh... I got one from the recycling. And I think I have one still in my house. So this should be doable. But yeah, there's a chance I move Pierce's, not Pierce. Whose house is that, Bertha? Uh, there's a chance I might move her house. Um, again, I wish I could have centered the path, like, yeah, horizontal. That would have looked better. Uh, but yeah, I'd probably have to, like, flatten out part of a cliff to do that. Uh, again, that's like a long-term goal to do, like, flatten out this section here. Uh, make it, like, square, and then build a you know, an incline there, and then shape the cliff the cliff around that. Um, but for now, this is a nice little temporary. Um, it's actually a temptation to turn it down, <laughs> actually. Stop building it, basically. Because, again, I'm, I'm really not thrilled with this spot. So part of me wants to just wait on it. Um... I'm not used to my house being over here, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but but yeah, I should, air quotes, should have a cardboard box on hand. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna think about it, because I, I might get rid of that incline. Uh, these are a bunch of recipes uh, for friends. Uh, I actually can drop the basket pack I have. I have too many, clearly. Um, also store a couple things like this. The other one should have gone straight to storage if 
uh, what if I understood what Abel said. Um, here's a bunch of recipes from you know balloons and gifts and things. So we got a shell rug, which we happen to get anyway. We got this bamboo grove wall. Um, I also got bamboo in the one town I visited yesterday. Um, but also a pan flute. So in addition to the ocarina, there's a couple more in instruments. Um, I'm not sure what that would take. But uh, let's check really quickly. Uh, young spring bamboo. I don't have any. <laughs> um, bamboo shoot. That would be nice to get. So I can actually just grow my own. Um, I hope bamboo is a little bit less rowdy than in the old games. Where it would just grow on its own and spread like wildfire. Um, I do hope bamboo is a little bit less out of control in this game. Um... What was I doing? I was making the cardboard boxes for Rosie, I think? Um... And yeah, debating on what I should do about the incline. Again, the cliffs are just too, uh, angled at the moment, I think, for that to work. So yeah, um... I'm f I feel like we need an incline, though, to help with the infrastructure in order to raise our town rating to get the ability to fix the ramp like I want it. So that's the dilemma I'm facing right now is do we build this and then have to take it down later or do I leave it like this and then have to move a house? Again, I need to really start thinking about perfect towns and all that stuff, but um... It's hard to know what I should do, like what the best course of action would be. Actually, to say I built a ramp, right here would not be a bad spot. You know what? That's a good idea. I'm gonna cancel that project, move the ramp over here. That's what I'm gonna do. But first, let's say hi to Rosie. Oh my gosh, wait, did you make the small car cardboard boxes I asked for, silly? Uh, there you go. I like how they eat sandwiches. I'm like so lucky to have someone from Cobalt make me another souvenir. Oh my gosh, thanks. I'm so like moved that someone made this for me. Here, take this, a striped teeth as a thank you. Please be a color that I like. <laughs> Blech, going home after an extra fun time is way hard. Back to the grind, you know? You should toast and invite me camping again sometime. I hurt this island so much, silly. Um, if it's like a blue striped tea? Mmm, no. Uh, I like the striped teas in Animal Crossing. Let me hit you with some real talk. Being on Cobalt is so much fun, it's legit incredible. The vibe here is great. And the folks I met here are even greater. I was just thinking about how fab moving here would be. But I really can't, not right now at least. I've got a lot going on back home, but I might be up for a move if I come visit again, silly. This is turning into quite the project. Um, oh well. We're gonna call it here for now, uh, and next time we're gonna move that ramp, because again, I just had this idea of how to put a ramp in and not have it be intrusive for later town development. Um, and from then, we might visit another uh, island. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for more Animal Crossing New Horizons.